Hi guys, so just a quick Friday Reads video for you this week and I'm actually recording this on my camera so if all goes to plan um, I should be able to record a few more videos on my camera. Since buying my camera um, in December I have had some difficulty actually transferring videos from the camera onto my computer, uploading them, editing them and just it wasn't working so I'm hoping that I can resolve that issue and if all goes to plan you'll be seeing this Friday Reads video. Again it's because I didn't actually have a video sort of recorded um, ready for today so I thought that I would do a Friday Reads video. Um, the book that I'm currently reading is actually The Rogue Not Taken by Sarah McLean. Um, this is the first book in her Scandal and Scoundrel series. I really like Sarah McLean. Um, you guys know I'm a big fan of Regency Romance and I read her Love by Numbers series which if you haven't read it and you are a fan of Regency Romance I highly suggest that you pick it up or it's a great series to start um, reading Regency Romance. Um, she creates really likeable, enjoyable characters, but they also have some great banter. They're very witty and they just, they just bring a smile to your face when you're reading them. They are good fun to read. And this book has been no exception. I have literally got seven pages left of this book, which by hook or by crook, I will be finishing this book tonight. Not because I haven't been enjoying it, I have been enjoying it immensely. Um, it's been a fantastic read. Um, it's definitely, it's made me smile um, while reading this. Um, but I do want to get it finished because this weekend I want to be reading this. Um, spoiler um, for my next book haul, but I want to be reading The Land of Stories and Author's Odyssey by Chris Colfer. This is the fifth book in The Land of Stories. Stories. I don't know why I struggled with that. The Land of Stories series and it's one of my all-time favourite series guys. I absolutely adore this series. If you haven't started it again you really should. It's a really fantastic middle grade series um, that just goes from strength to strength. Um, absolutely adore this series. Um, I'm not a huge middle grade reader but every time I pick up The Land of Stories I always think I should read more middle grade. Um, but yeah I absolutely adore this series and I can't wait to get stuck into it because I've enjoyed every single book in this series. Um, I always have theories about what's happening next, what's going to happen. Um, I always just get really involved and drawn into this story um it's absolutely fantastic and it like i say it just goes from strength to strength so i can't wait to start this this weekend um i probably won't start it tonight i'll start fresh tomorrow but this is definitely what i'm going to start reading this weekend so thanks so much for watching guys um let me know what you're reading this weekend in the comments down below and I always love to know. Let me know also if you're a fan of historical or Regency romance and if so what authors you would recommend to me. Um, I've read a few but I'm always on the lookout for more recommendations when it comes to Regency romance because it's a genre <laughs> um, that you can get some really fantastic books in and you can find some really awful books in so let me know which ones you recommend also if you read the land of stories if you if you've enjoyed it and if you're waiting to pick up an author's odyssey as well so thanks so much for watching guys i hope you have a great weekend and i'll see you all soon happy reading